What's going on, party people? Welcome back. Today we are doing PC of the Month here in October. So we're gonna do a Halloween themed PC, not quite as crazy or eccentric as last year's, but it's still gonna be pretty nice, much more of a practical and sort of a standard build, if you will. Uh, this is gonna be the dead silent PC. It's a play on words, you know, because dead relates to dead things like, like you see on Halloween. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, it's gonna be a pretty nice high-end system featuring a lot of modern age components that uh, you guys should enjoy. And by the way, links to all this stuff can be found in the description below. I should also mention this video is brought to you by Be Quiet. But uh, let's, let's just go down the line here. I'm gonna start from your left and just go all the way down in no particular order here. We've got the NZXT Hue 2, which is an amazing lighting system. This recently came out and I did a review on it. You can check that out later. We've also got an underglow kit uh, that's kind of hiding behind here, which is also going to add just a little bit of something extra uh, to the finished build. There's going to be plenty of graphical horsepower in this system as well. We've got a Gigabyte Aorus Extreme RTX 2080. I actually have the card just, just, just chilling behind here. This thing is a total beast. Um, it's, it's the fattest RTX card I've actually seen here in the office so far, and it's got some crazy LED fans that uh, we're gonna get a closer look at by the end of this video. Moving on here, we have the Intel Core i9-9900K. Yes, uh, I'm going with the, 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 the fastest gaming CPU currently on the market. Also, maybe one of the most overpriced CPUs right now, but uh, that doesn't change the fact that it is quite an animal when you're talking about gaming. And this is first and foremost going to be a gaming machine. We've also paired that with the Asus ROG Maximus 11 Hero, a fantastic board, also doesn't come cheap, but uh, very well engineered and uh, has all the bells and whistles you could want in a gaming rig. Down below, we've got a Toshiba OCZ RC100 NVMe M.2 SSD. It's a little guy. It's only a 22 by 42, I believe, but it's packing the uh, Toshiba's own in-house BICS NAND flash storage. So uh, it's very, very high quality, very, very reliable drive as well. Our memory kit there, the T-Force Nighthawk RGB. That's two by eight gig sticks of DDR4 at 3000 speed. And uh, the reason why we're using it in this build today is because even though it's RGB, I don't know if you can tell in the box there, but there's actually some orange accents baked into the actual heat spreader. So it kind of defeats the purpose of having RGB lighting, in my opinion, unless you're putting it inside of a black and orange themed PC, for example. So I think it'll do just fine. Um, although it might get kind of covered up by this massive cooler that we have here, the Dark Rock Pro 4 from Be Quiet. This is an incredible air cooler, one of the best on the market. Um, it's got uh, 250 watt TDP. Um, it's got a dual heat sink design, dual fans. I may even remove the outer fan just so we can get a better look at the heat sinks uh, on our memory, but we'll have to see how far we get there. Just below that, we have a Be Quiet Straight Power 11 unit at 750 watts, 80 plus gold certified, fully modular and all that. It's got a Silent Wings fan built right in, so it is very, very quiet. We'll also be adding three Silent Wings 3 fans into this system. These are 140 millimeter units, 1000 RPM, PWM, incredibly high quality and, uh, and very silent as well, which is exactly what this build calls for, of course. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the Be Quiet Silent Base 801. This is the mid-tower chassis, it supports up to EATX motherboards and pretty much any full-size hardware you can possibly throw at it. It's got 10 millimeter thick dampening mats for just extreme silence. It has a modular motherboard tray, um, so you can actually invert the entire layout. Uh, internally, which I think we're gonna do today. That way we can get a better look at the, the crazy LED fans on this Aorus card. Um, I think it's uh, just these, these two items together are gonna be a perfect fit overall. And uh, apart from that, you've got tempered glass, a very nice uh, power supply shroud that actually has a bit more functionality built into it than, than most PSU shrouds do. Now, one thing you might've noticed missing from this table are cables. We actually have some Cable Mod Pro Series cables on their way. They haven't arrived yet, but hopefully during the build, uh, they'll get here and we can just pop those in at any time. Uh, additionally, you guys should stay tuned to the very end of this video where I'll show you guys how to win a set of Be Quiet hardware. There will be three lucky winners, literally tripling your chances of winning, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, ladies and gents, let's go ahead and start building this dead silent PC.
There she is, October's PC of the month, looking pretty fly with that inverted layout. Obviously, flipped motherboards aren't for everyone. I'm a huge fan of them. I always have been. And the only thing here that I could say cosmetically that sort of bothers me is that I didn't mount the, the CPU cooler uh, 180 degrees around. So Be Quiet is actually upside down, which is kind of annoying. The Aorus doesn't bother me so much because there's nothing you can do about that. Um, but in hindsight, I, I wish I would have flipped that cooler. It's really easy to do. We're just a little pressed for time right now. The other thing about this cooler is that it's so massive, in case you couldn't tell, that it kind of covers up some of our heat spreaders there. One of the dims is fully masked off by the fan here, but if you really wanted to get a better look at your modules, you could remove that fan, uh, and you would still have that second fan in between those dual heatsink towers, and I'm sure the cooling would be just fine, honestly. It's such a massive thin stack. I'm also digging the fact that this is a fully air-cooled system. I feel like air-cooled rigs don't get enough love these days. We've got three intakes at the front, three more exhaust at the top, and then one more exhaust at the back. Um, all of the fans, except for that rear exhaust, are hooked up to the fan controller that's integrated with the case, and it's got a three-step controller. There's also an auto setting. Right now, we're on the lowest setting, on, on one, uh, and it is, as the title mentions, dead silent. It is super quiet, even with the side panel off. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have Unigen Heaven 4.0 running on the system right now. It's not hooked up to a monitor, um, but, uh, but it is running, it's under load, and it is just, it's quiet. It's so quiet. Obviously, uh, maybe the fans might ramp up a little bit once you put the side panel on, because the, the temperatures will spike up a bit. But for the most part, it is super quiet. So uh, I, I guess that's a mission complete there. As you can see, our Cable Mod Pro Series extensions finally arrived, and they were worth the wait. 100%, they look really nice. And kind of circling back here, the last thing I want to mention is the whole process of inverting the internal layout in the Silent Base 801. It was actually a lot more straightforward and simple than I thought it would be. It was just a matter of unscrewing the nine mounting screws holding the motherboard tray and the rear panel in place. Those two panels are connected, by the way. Uh, flipping that, just physically turning around, remounting those screws. Uh, there's a cover here for the power supply basement that just gets flipped really easily if you want to utilize the hard drive cage underneath the PSU basement. Uh, that has to come off as well with like two or three screws, very simple. And that's pretty much it. Uh, within about five minutes or so, you have a completely inverted uh, internal layout and it just works very seamlessly, very easy to do. So kudos to Be Quiet for that. And last but certainly not least, I'm kicking off a giveaway with Be Quiet. There will be three winners. Each winner will win a set of Be Quiet hardware, including a case, power supply, CPU cooler, and a set of fans. It's a pretty nice starter package if you're building a new system, and there will be three winners, so triples your odds of winning. Uh, go ahead and follow the link in the description below to enter and find out all the details of what exactly you'll be getting should you be chosen. It's an international giveaway, so everyone's got a chance to win. You can enter by following the link in the description below. The giveaway is effective immediately and will end 10 days after this video's upload date. On that 10th day. I'll be announcing the winner on my Twitter page at BitwitKyle. Make sure you guys follow me there and also be checking your emails because I'll be reaching out to the three winners on that day as well. So best of luck to all of you. May the three luckiest lads or ladies win and thanks to Be Quiet for, uh, for sponsoring this video and for the giveaway opportunity. That is going to do it for this video, guys. So let me know what you think of my Halloween-themed PC, the Dead Silent Rig, down in the comments below, and feel free to toss a like on this video if you enjoyed it. You can also get subscribed for more tech content on the way very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.